The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sounder one, and that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. Um, what is this about? The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head they will sharpen the pikes for. Given my humor at the moment, I hope for your sake you've brought back the sarcophagus. So at least that matter is under control. About the sarcophagus... It appears to have been stolen. Stolen? St stolen? How? Who would... Oh, Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. Gary? The Nosferatu Primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now, my mistake. Danos. I want him found. I want him found. The sarcophagus could be exploited, causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands, When you say, want him found, you mean me, I'm assuming? The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood, but not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort her out. Ah, uh, I'm sorry there, but Mr. LaCroix, he told me not to let anybody up right now. He sounded kind of P.O.'d. Must be all the late nights he's working. Anyhow, I can't let you go see him right now. Sorry. Fine. Goodbye. Now. It's coming for me! Slow down. What's coming? Who are you? My crew. My crew. We, we, were, we were here shooting for my show. I'm a parapsychologist. Haunted L.A. Oh, oh, God, it was right behind me. We've got to get out of here. What's behind you? Look, I'll level with you. We, we, we usually fake these things, you know. Ghosts, if this, that's all bullshit. We were setting up downstairs and weird shit started happening. My crew... They all started disappearing. I, I don't know what's happening. Wait here. I'll go see if I can find them. Oh, no, no, don't go down there. We've got to get out. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> I don't know. 
Real terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? 
terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No, I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. You ate that kind. That's disgusting. Drinking blood to sustain your death, you are damned, yes? What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? I don't kill to stay alive. We drink blood. I eat flesh. Kine eat food. But kind think us a monster. Without remorse, they would burn our body twice over to be certain we were destroyed. What is unnatural for some is vital for others. Who are you? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in a time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Why are you living in a condemned building? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. Are you going to eat him? Eventually. He'll never come down here. He's scared out of his mind. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. I won't forget it. I'm leaving. I made a request of you. Why have you not sent the man down? I will we'll take care of it.
there, need a date? I made a request of you. Why have you not sent the man down? I'll go take care of it, but I can fucking find him.
Hello, neonate. How can I be of assistance? Do you have a few minutes to talk with me? Of course. I have a few questions for you. What is it you would like to know? Need a ride? Yeah, just drive. You're back. I, um, I went out this evening and I, well, I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I, he came back here with me and, well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. You did what? Where is he? Um, uh, in the bathroom. I, uh, I locked, I locked him in. Did I mess up? Uh, I don't know yet. I'll see what I can do. What is this shit? Let me out, goddammit! I'll kill that crazy bitch! Calm down. There's been a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. Maybe I could use a drink. Yeah, I could use a drink. What the hell does that mean? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Hey! Come here, I've got a secret to tell you. It's you. Earlier tonight, you weren't following me, were you? 
I had this feeling like I was being watched. Maybe it's nothing, but I'm still a little shook up. It wasn't me. It could be one of a number of people who want me dead -er. Want you dead? Why? How could anyone think of harming someone so extraordinary? Your life might be in danger, so Heather, I had to ask you to leave my service. But I... This is my final request of you. Do as I say. Live a long, happy life for me. You don't mean it! This life is dangerous. You'll end up dead. I won't let that happen. Farewell. <laughs> I'll leave, okay? But if you ever change your mind... Then I'll find you, I promise. Sure. Alright. I'll, um...